Good morning, Hawks, and welcome back. Today is Friday, September 11th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American and Texas flags. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. The Spanish Club is holding the first membership enrollment meeting and will be selecting officers on September 15th after school in Coach Castro's room P20. And we will have a DSSS December culture celebration. We will be holding meetings bi weekly every first and third Tuesday in the fall semester. Congratulations to senior Dolly Moon, who has been named as a finalist for the National Scholastic Press Association's 2015 Picture of the Year in the Sports Photo category. Results will be announced in mid-November. Junior Kylie Rufino has been named as a finalist for the National Scholastic Press Association Story of the Year in the Sports Story category. 2015 graduate... Nisa Caruso is also for Story of the Year in Feature Writing. If you're interested in a career in business, finance, human resources, or information technology, then Business Professionals of America is the club for you. For more information and to join, please come to our first meeting on Monday, September 14th at 420 in Room C01. YOL computer applications compete in the art of keyboard using spreadsheets and using databases. If you made a 100 in BIM, love keyboarding, or love Excel, this competition Ooh. is for you. Wow. Hashtag let's go to state. Sign up for in room E211 with Miss Wells. Got talent? Come show it at our HHS talent show. Pick up an audition from Student Services or from Miss Sheeport in room E110. Auditions must be submitted Thursday, September 17th. Get yours today. Driving suits. Please make sure you have a current parking permit for the 2015-16 school year. Parking permits are $10 through the month of September only, and then they will go to $15. Please remember that if you get a ticket for not having a permit, it will cost you $20. And after the third one, you'll be fined and booted. Parking permits will be sold in the main office. See you, Ms. Hessler. Do you like baseball? Who doesn't? Would you be interested in being a baseball manager and assist the coaches with all activities? Please contact Coach Pierce or Coach Bavone for more information. You've been dress coded. Don't you want your own clothes returned? Please return the clothes you were given to ISS as soon as possible. Attention seniors! Prestige Portraits will be on campus September 29th and 30th to take your portrait for the yearbook if you do not have already a studio appointment. Come by room E102 to sign up for a time slot. They will take an environmental shot and an outfit of your choice for the yearbook as well as a cap and gown shot at no charge. Additional sessions are available for a sitting fee. Come by room E102 to sign up. Underclassmen pictures will be taken through a social studies classes September 23rd and 24th. Be on the lookout for info packets from your social studies teacher. Returning hot crew members, there's a mandatory meeting Tuesday the 15th at 8.15 in room F206. The Anime Club meets Thursdays right after school in B201. Come, Come join, join us. If you are passionate about a girl, em em empowerment, and making a difference in the world, come to C102 for more information about girl advocates. We meet every first and third Wednesday of the month. Now a quick video about talent starting next week. 2015 and students' talent classes will be posted on the wall similar to the first day of school. The purpose of talent is to provide students access to academic enrichment, interventions, and tutorials during the school day. Here are a few quick bullet points. Talon will be from 9 a.m. to 9.25 a.m. Monday through Friday. All students will be assigned a homeroom Talon class. Any seniors arriving on campus prior to 9.30 should enter through the cafeteria for a large group supervised study hall. First period will begin at 9.30. Junior incentive. Students with no unexcused absences and all A's and B's will be eligible to exempt themselves from Talon in the fourth nine weeks. Students do not leave their homeroom teacher on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Students are responsible for getting a pass to work with different teachers on Wednesday and Thursday. Absences will be penalized the same as for any other course. 
Now a quick video about Late Night Library and the Late Buses. Late Buses will be available to pick up kids on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday starting next week at 5.30 p.m. A pass will be required. Late Night Library will be available next Thursday for students from 4.20 to 5.30 p.m. There will be upperclassmen and teachers there for you if you need tutorials. There will be no in and out privileges, meaning if you go home, you cannot come back. And now a quick video about our testing center. The school testing center opens on Monday, September 14th. The testing center will provide students a place to make up or retake tests without missing additional classroom instruction, without burdening the teacher during tutorials or Talon time. Hours of operation and location are before school through Talon, 8.30 a.m. to 9.25 a.m. Students will not be allowed in the testing center after 8.55 a.m. and must stay for the remaining time of Talon. General reminders. The teacher indicates the limits or other in restrictions. Leaving an incomplete test in the testing center will have the same consequences as in the classroom. Students are not allowed to begin a test, leave for any reason, and then return to the testing room. Once a student leaves the testing center, their test will be considered complete. Teachers can use their discretion to test students over multiple days. Talon homeroom teachers don't need to worry about recording these students present. Students' names are recorded at the testing center and their absences are overridden at the end of the period. Since using the testing center is at the teacher's discretion, it is the teacher's responsibility to inform the student what day to report to the testing center to make up their tests. If the student missed more than one test, they may return to the testing center for another day to finish subsequent tests. Retesting. If a student has taken a test and failed, a teacher may utilize the testing center as a retesting option. The teacher is responsible for reteaching the concepts to the students. After the concept is retaught through tutorials, the teacher may assign the student the testing center and the following day. Hey Hawks, in honor and remembrance of 9-11, today we're going to be wearing red, white, and blue at the game tonight and all throughout the day. So be sure to show your Hawk pride. And remember to have good sportsmanship and not boo the other team when they come out. And also after the game, can you please pick up trash? Please. Thank you. Go Hawks. Hawks. Good morning, Hawks. Just to kind of reiterate what you've already heard, we want to be the exemplar in terms of our behavior at the football games. Friday night was a prime example of that, and the videos that you've seen really exemplify what we're about. So great spirit in the stands during the game. At the end, I was so amazed and impressed that we were able to stop and regroup and left the, the stadium in better condition than we found it. So that's the Hawk trait, the Hawk way. Let's continue that. And also about this time, we've finished all our class meetings. So just want to remind everyone of the dress code. We're going to start working on that and uh, tightening up on that. So be sure and leave your caps off your head. Make sure to trim your, your chins if you need to do that. And ladies, be sure we dress uh, where... Um, Appropriate clothing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great Hawk Day. Go Hawks. Hawk football plays on Thursday night next week at the Kelly Reeves Athletic Complex. Pre-sale football tickets will be on sale in the cafeteria before school on Tuesday and Wednesday and during all lunches on Wednesday. Prices are $7 for adults and $3 for students and everyone will pay $9 if purchased at the game. Woo! Everyone Hawks, attitude is choice. <laughs>